I'm back. I decided I would go ahead and get out some wax paper and just make what I had left into burgers. Making three big burgers. It's nice to have them ready. Well, I don't want to stick. This does super if your hamburger is cold enough. But you know what? I love it, period. It's just a good thing. <clears throat> now I've got separate sheets of wax paper here. I already put salt and pepper here. Lay that on there. And, ah, gotta wash my hands. Can't stain it. My marker is gone. I know what you're thinking. Like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna watch this stupid chick. She makes the dumbest videos. Okay, that is the right size. Round chuck patties. Three. Ten. Two. Seventeen. How lovely. Anyway, I'm going to add some salt and some pepper here. And by, the, by going ahead and doing this, you know you've got them done. And that helps them not stick to the wax paper. Now, there's one ready. And I forgot to do this to the other side. And oh my gosh, this wax paper is super thin. You know, normally when you get wax paper too, you're not sure which side to use because it feels thicker and they're both waxed and nice. This is kind of hideous. It was from cheapy stuff from Dollar Tree. Hopefully it'll work all right. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Um, yeah, but it's, it's really hideously thin and just feels terrible. I'm almost on 14. Is, you don't have to wonder. That's good. You don't have to wonder what side is the coated one of this. The other one feels like tissue paper. It's kind of gross. I'm usually really happy with what I get at Dollar Tree, but this is sad. It's sad little paper. Like I said, hope it works. And, you know, normally we would put some in between, like, and put one here, but I don't want a mass of burgers stuck together. I want to be able to take out how many we want at a time and not have more stuck to it. Anyway, these will be frozen until we're ready to throw them on the grill or toss them in the casserole dish. So there we go. Got those done. Get out the excess air. We're going to toss these in the freezer. <clears throat> and, you know, anything that you can do ahead, whenever you're in the mood to do it, it'll save you a step later. And that's a good thing. Because if you're like me, when it comes time to do it, then you're not in the mood to do it. And I can do the prepping stuff like any other time, except when I need to do it. So, it's easier to go ahead and get it in. Again, say a prayer for the families of the people of Las Vegas shooting. How sad. Praise God from whom all blessings flow, because there are many blessings still. Hope those people are with him today. Ciao for now.